The six as Portlanders continue to raise concerns about crime, homelessness, and a lack of response from city leaders, we're going one on one with Portland City Commissioner Mingus Maps. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz is taking a closer look at the frustration expressed by many Portlanders and the response from the city. She joins us live with Commissioner Maps' vision for the next year and his message to the community. Sarah? Oh yeah, good evening. Commissioner Maps does acknowledge that change won't happen overnight, but he did share a number of city plans that he believes will help change the narrative for Portland within the next year. We've heard from countless Portland business owners who are desperate for help after repeated break-ins. Portland City Commissioner Mingus Maps recognizes these kinds of crimes are not a priority right now because of staffing shortages in the Portland Police Bureau. You know, we have a, a police bureau which is... Um, about two thirds of the size it should be for a city of uh, Portland size. You know, uh, most cities the size of Portland have about 1,200 cops. We have about 800. That is one of the reasons why we um, are too slow to respond to some of these break ins. That and a record breaking number of homicides, MAP says, makes gun violence a top priority. The commissioner says in the next year, there are three key changes that he believes will help stabilize the city's underlying problems. Hiring more Portland police officers, hiring more unarmed police officers called PS3s who can help with property crimes, and expanding the Portland Street Response Program, not only to East Portland, but to downtown, he says, this spring. I also think that we need to do a much better job at getting people off the streets. Um, you know, if you take a look at the violence that we see out there, at least the gun violence about one bucket of it can be attributed to gang violence. Another bucket of it uh, can be uh, attributed to um, houseless folks. And another bucket can be attributed to random violence. And his goal, get a thousand people off the streets by the end of the year. So what should Portlanders do in the meantime? Well, he says community conversations and collaboration are where it starts. The police can't do this alone. And indeed, if you think about the kind of policing that I think Portlanders want, it's this collaborative community policing approach. Um, I believe that we can move in that direction even at a time when resources are thin. And MAPS also addressed the concerns that we've heard from business owners about feeling unheard and a lack of response from city leaders. I think there are two pieces to this. Um, number one, um, do I understand people's frustrations with the results they see on the streets? I sure do. Um, and number two, when you reach out to City Hall, um, um, should you get a response? Um, I think that's an absolute expectation that uh, um, Portlanders are right to have. And Commissioner Maps also suggested for folks to work with the community safety program through the city, which can help folks not only protect their business, but keep their neighbors safe. Reporting live here in downtown Portland tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.